and welcome to my back room here in sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. Thanks for joining me today. I have a special lesson for you. I'm super excited to do this because today we're going to be learning licks by the great Cliff Gallup. Now Cliff Gallup only played with Gene Vincent for less than a year and he was only 26 years old. But in that time he made a gigantic contribution to the world of rockabilly guitar. His playing is iconic, and he's known for his rapid-fire pull-offs, clean tone, unique phrasing, all done with precision and clarity. So it's no wonder that to this very day, he's still admired by rock and roll guitarists around the globe. Now, Cliff only recorded just three sessions back in 1956 with Gene Vincent. In fact, at the very first recording in Nashville, producer Ken Nelson had studio guitarist Grady Martin on standby just in case Gallup's skills weren't up to the task. But after Nelson heard the boys do a run-through of Race with the Devil, he sent those studio musicians home. They weren't needed. He knew right away that he wouldn't be needing any session players. The blue caps were tight and ready to rock. Now during these three sessions, Gallup recorded classic tracks such as Bebop Alula, Blue Jean Bop, Who Slapped John, Cruisin', and Pink Thunderbird. And obviously there's so much more, but I gotta stop somewhere. Now on these recordings, Cliff played a 1954 Gretsch Duojet, equipped with DeArmond Dynasonic single coil pickups. Now in today's solo example, you'll notice that some of the licks are loosely based off of Gene Vincent's song, Cruisin'. Basically what I did was put a bunch of licks and phrases that are unique to Cliff Gallup's playing into a 12 bar blues progression in the key of G. Now when the solo starts, we start with some licks from the G major pentatonic scale and the G minor blues scale. <laughs> Then as we move along through the solo, we hit that crazy sounding dissonant double stops. <laughs> then we're back to playing some more single note lines. And then we finish off strong with some very fast open string pull-offs. And then we end with a G6-9 chord. Now if you're not exactly sure how to execute those fast pull-offs, at the very end of this lesson, after the backing track, I'm going to demonstrate how to play them up close with note-by-note -note instruction. Alright, so Cliff Gallup, what more could you say about the man? Well, what I could say about Cliff Gallup is that he's one of my biggest influences in rockabilly guitar playing. In fact, Cliff Gallup's photograph sits right here in front of my desk, and whenever I need a little inspiration, I look right up here. I can still remember when I first got into those Gene Vincent records, it was a life-changing experience. Hearing those songs made me want to be a lifelong rockabilly music lover. And I credit the song Race of the Devil for absolutely blowing my mind. It made me want to dedicate my life to playing this style of music. So tell me in the comments, I'd love to know, what song by Gene Vincent and the Blue Caps really knocked your socks off? Now friends, if you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This will keep you up to date on all my newest guitar lessons. And if you find that you're really digging this Cliff Gallup Rockabilly Guitar lesson and you'd like to learn more licks like this, I'd encourage you to pick up my ultimate rockabilly guitar course that's available at my website at DamianBocci.com. The course comes with PDF file guitar tabs and backing tracks. Ultimate Rockabilly Guitar is available as a download or as a DVD. This course, friends, will not disappoint. Alright, so enough talking. Let me show you how to play this. I'm going to show you up close with on-screen tabs. Also, at the end of this lesson, there's a backing track for you to use for practice. And friends, if you need a little further instruction on how to play those fast pull-offs, after the backing tracks, I'm going to be doing a little note-by-note -note instruction for you. Okay, so while you're learning this solo, I'm going to step back in time to 1978 and catch up on a little Simon. for today's guitar lesson. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It was my pleasure to show you this and I hope you got something out of it. 
And again, friends, if you dug this lesson, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're really feeling Rockabilly Guitar and you'd like to learn some more, I'd encourage you to pick up my Ultimate Rockabilly Guitar course that's available at my website. Now friends, before I go, I'd like to leave you with this inspiring thought. I'd like you to think about this. It's nine things to give up if you want to be happy. So here they are. One, you gotta give up complaining. Two, you gotta give up limiting beliefs. Three, you gotta stop blaming others. Four, you gotta stop negative self-talk. Five, you gotta stop dwelling on the past. Six, you gotta give up the resistance to change. Seven, you gotta give up that need to impress others. Eight, stop that need to always be right. And finally, number nine, number nine, number nine, you gotta give up the need for others' approval. And with that, friends, I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Much love to everyone out there. I'll see you real soon in another video. Until then, take care and bye bye Flash Gordon, quarterback, New York Jets. All right, as promised, I'd like to show you how to do these rapid fire pull-offs up close. I know it's not the easiest thing to learn at first, but I know you can do it with some practice. I'm positive. Because all we're doing, using just the E and the B string, and we're on the third fret here on the E string to the second fret to open. And then we go to the third fret on the B string, to second fret, to open. So basically we're just playing that, but we're pulling off. So what I'm going to do is pull off. I got So I'm on the third fret here on the E string, and I pull that off. And then I pull off the second fret there to open. So let me do it slowly. So faster. A little faster. And then we do the same thing on the B string. Same frets. Third fret to the second fret. It's open. Just hitting the string one time. Okay, so let's do them both the E and the B string. Okay, so let's do it a little faster. Okay, and now let's do it up to speed. And let's go over this lick really fast. Play that slowly for you. That's the key to getting it right. So you're gonna go and pick once. All right. Okay, I hope that helps some of you out, give you a better understanding. Just take your time at it, take it easy. Don't get frustrated. It's gonna take a little time if it's something that you have trouble with. It's not something that I started out just being able to do. I was very determined to learn how to play like that. So I just practiced and practiced. So it's something that you just gotta practice. I know you can do it. Take care everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.